Hey guys, how's it going? This is my new user setup instructions for the Amazon Fire Stick. Let me plug it in real quick. It's going to be a step-by-step -step process of what you need to do when you get your Fire Stick in the mail. See so we can get it up and running. It's a very easy process. Alright, it's booting up right now. I also would like to say thank you very much for your purchase and I'll do my best to answer any and all your questions. Just email me or shoot me an eBay message. Alright, here we go. Let's go down all the way to settings so we can connect this to the Wi-Fi internet. Go over to system and then go to network. Mine is pretty fly for Wi-Fi. Enter in the password. Hit connect. All right, now we're connected. Hit the back button. What I do is I include a dummy Amazon account so that it's easy for everyone to just start watching the TV shows and movies, the reason why you bought this for. So if you would like to change it to your own Amazon account, you would click right here. Click Amazon account again. And then deregister this one. And then put in the information that you have for your Amazon account easy process. Alright, the first time we're going to open Cody, we're going to go through applications and then go down to manage installed applications and then click on Cody and launch application. Using the Gears of War build it's one of the best builds I've found to date. He's constantly updating the build, which means everything's up and running constantly. He does a very great job. All right, here's the main screen of Cody with the Gears of War build. Phoenix is an app. It's an add-on, but it's very huge. It's got a TV section, sports section, movies, TV shows, even has a fitness section. I like to go to the left where it says view list. I like going to thumbnail so I can see pictures. All different kinds of fitness programs out there. We got Insanity, which is a great program. Here's the Phoenix Hot Movies section. Change with the thumbnail. See some pictures. Some of these are in theaters right now. I know Warcraft just came out this week. So you can click on it and let's try Link 1. Look at that. First try came on HD 720p. To stop it, you hit the big circle button and then go over to stop and it'll bring you right back to the menu where you were. Lots and lots of movies. 
you could go on for days searching all the content on this. Here's a sports section. Here's your live sports right here, Fox Sports, NBC Golf, NBCSN, got WWE Network, a baseball section since it's baseball season. This is constantly updated to what season it is for sports. One of my favorite sports add-ons is right here, Pro Sports, NBA, NHL, NFL, MLB. Let's see if there's any baseball games on today. It's real early in the morning. As you can see, it shows from the top. First game today is 105, 107. This is amazing. NBA. I know it's the finals. Yep, no games today. As expected. Hit the back button. Go to the main menu. Another good one is Cast Away. Just hit the back button. It's just a little pop-up about the add-on. Live sports, sports on demand. Not sure if there's any sports on right now. Let's go over to the music section. All different kinds of add ons for music. The 24-7 section is all shows that are played right after another, which is great for having it on in the background or trying to fall asleep to. You can see all of them by going to all 24-7 right here. Just hit the back button if that pops up. Futurama, Game of Thrones, the old Looney Tune flicks, Simpsons, South Park, sci-fi movies, Star Trek, Stargate, Big Bang Theory, Rick and Bubba Show. <laughs> Here's a whole kids section. We have live, Nickelodeon, Nicktoons, Cartoon Network, Disney Channel, Disney Junior, Disney XD. We have the Disney Collection add-on. Has movies from the 1930s all the way to date and future releases. Finding Dory's coming up soon, and the BFG. Let's try this one. Let's try a different stream. There we go. I just clicked no and it started popping up. I think it's just a trailer. Yep. That's probably just for the future releases. Gives you a trailer. Let's go over to view thumbnail. There we go. All family and kids movies. Organized by year and decade. Pick a random one. 
try link one. Look at that, I found Herbie. Fast forward a little bit. Hit the big circle button and stop. Those are just all the Disney collection movies. Over here we have Cartoon Crazy. which is all the cartoon TV shows. Click on either popular or latest or search for the one that you're looking for. All kinds of TV shows. We also have kids animated, kids live action, kids in animation, movies based on video games, best of Batman, DC comic movies, Marvel movies, and even the old celebrity deathmatch. Alright, let's go over to movies. This is the whole movie section. It has all the add-ons down here. They're all great. It's just personal preference of which one you like and which one you found to have the highest quality. You could either go in the sub menu and search or find the latest movies, most popular, the ones in theater. Let's see what's in theater. All of them. Here's the TV show section. It's just like the previous one, but it's all for TV shows. Here's all the add-ons down here, which you'll be able to find any TV show you're looking for. Oops. Let's go to the sub menu and see what the most popular TV shows are right now. thumbnail Game of Thrones Roots Bloodline Peaker Blinders Arrow Vikings Person of Interest Walking Dead Orange is the New Black You can find anything you're looking for Here's the live TV section Here's all the add-ons to watch live TV. I personally would rather watch TV shows or movies because the quality is going to be a lot better. Live TV has commercials and all that. I usually just record on the DVR or come in here and watch my favorite TV shows. But we have the top 10 channels. Now, Cartoon Network, Comedy Central, hit the back button, Discovery, ESPN, History, Nickelodeon, National Geographic, CW, all American channels. Here's the new add on Target 1080p created. It's called Reboot. It's a paid subscription, but it's all high def channels. I highly recommend it. If you're looking to cut the cord, it's very, very cheap. Hit the 
back button. All right, here's the program section, and what I recommend every time you want to use your Fire Stick is to come down here, delete your cache. Look, I have 18 files in there. Delete them. This will keep your Fire Stick running very smooth, so it doesn't buffer, lag, all that. So come down here, clear the cache, purge the packages, and delete the thumbnails. I highly recommend doing that very, very often. Now, when there's an update, as you can see, we have version 6.3 right here. On the scrolling text, it's going to show when 6.4 is going to be available. And you can do that by going to the target wizard right here. and clicking the Gears of War build right here. This will update you to 6.4 when it is available. It'll have the date on the scrolling text on the previous menu of when it will be available. He also has a show box build. You can also try that if you would like. Or you can try updating by going to build update right here. Just hit the enter button and it will automatically download for you. system menu I don't think you will do anything on here except for going to add-ons this is where you're going to find your XXX add-ons for the people that would like it they're back in here so that your family and kids won't find it on accident click on my add-ons go up oops to video add-ons. As you can see here, Cherry Pie, Erotic XXX. I think that one's having a little bit of trouble right now. It might be up and running pretty soon. Uh, there's some other ones in here. Here's one, tube eight. And the ultimate white cream. And the UJIS. So there's four of them. I'm sure it'll get you anything you want to watch. Let's hit the back button, go back to the main menu. And there you go. I think I've gone over pretty much everything of how to use your new fire stick. Hit the home button to get out of there. And if you have any other questions or would like to know how to do something, just shoot me an email or a message on eBay and I'll get to you. Oh, here we go. Now that we've opened Cody, it's under our recent apps. And that's how you can get to it from the home screen instead of going through the manage applications like we did in the beginning. If it is not under the recent, go down to apps. And it's right under our apps library. That's how you can get to Cody from the home screen instead of going through all the processes that we did in the beginning. Very simple. Alright, well, thanks for watching. Let me know if you need any help.